If you were a billionaire, how would you travel? You'd probably be in your private jet or on your luxury yacht. The billionaires in today's video take it to the next level though, and they travel in luxury unlike anything you have ever seen before. If you're new to the channel and you want to see the luxurious life that the 1% live in, subscribe and click the bell. That way you never miss a video. And make sure to stay till the end to learn about Elon Musk's amphibious car. Number 10. Steve Ballmer $88.3 billion When you've been the CEO of Microsoft and own an NBA team, you need to be able to get around the country fast. Having a lunch meeting in New York and then courtside tickets to see your team, the LA Clippers, play that evening would leave most of us stuck. Not Steve Ballmer though. He has his trusty Gulfstream G650 to make the quick coast-to-coast -coast trip. The base cost for one of these beauties is $65 million. But you know that Steve has spent more than that for every optional extra possible. When it comes to getting around the city though, Steve likes to travel a little more low-key. There is a trend among older tech billionaires. They prefer to drive the kind of cars your grandparents dream of. In Steve's case, this is a Ford Fusion Energy. The 2.5-litre hybrid engine puts out 262 horsepower, and assuming he got all the optional extras, it cost him $37,490. Maybe he wants to go under the radar when traveling around town. Number 9. Warren Buffett – $97 billion he might not be a tech billionaire, but Warren Buffett likes to keep his cars as low-key as Steve Ballmer does. The last time Warren bought a new car was in 2014. His Cadillac XTS cost him around $50,000 at the time. Warren will have earned more than that by the time we get to the end of this video. When it comes to flying though, Buffett takes things much more seriously. In 1998, the investment fund he runs, Berkshire Hathaway, acquired business jet operators Executive Jets Asia and NetJets, for 725 million US dollars. In effect, Warren Buffett currently owns the world's largest private jet fleet, so he can go wherever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. Number 8. Sergey Brin – $98.1 billion Sergey is the first of the two Google CEOs on this list, and at 48 years old, he's young enough to be little looser with his cash than our first two billionaires. My personal favorite of his extravagant purchases is his luxury yacht, Dragonfly. Dragonfly is a 73.3 meter motor yacht built in Australia by Silver Yachts. She might not be the biggest yacht in the world, but with a top speed of 15 miles an hour and a range of 4,800 nautical miles, she'll get you where you want to go fast and more importantly, in style. When Sergey gets to his destination, there's a helipad at the front, so he never has to walk further than the bow deck. Bryn can't always be cruising through the Caribbean islands though. Being the 8th richest person in the world does take some work. For that, he has his private jet, a Gulfstream G650ER. This $70 million plane is perfect for getting to Google board meetings, and he can park it at Google's own private airport near San Jose. The airport has cost nearly $100 million and has several hangars and an executive lounge. Number 7. Larry Ellison – $98.7 billion From one tech company founder to another, Larry Ellison is the last person on this list worth less than $100 billion. As the co-founder and chairman of the software company Oracle, he can afford to splurge on his transport, but the amount he spends might even be more surprising than you think. Ellison has owned several super yachts, the 58-meter yacht Ronin, the 75-meter yacht Katana, and the 138-meter Rising Sun. And now, the 88-meter Musashi. The Musashi, which is still his current boat, won four major awards in 2012 after it was completed, including the International Super Yacht Society Awards for Best Interior and the Asia Boating Award for Best Custom-Built Yacht. Boats with those kinds of awards cost a lot of money, and in the case of the Musashi, it cost $160 million. Ellison can't always be on holiday in his yachts though, and when he's driving into work, he takes a Lexus LS600H, a luxury sedan. Of course, this is not the only car he owns. He also has a McLaren F1 and an Audi R8. Larry Ellison seems to like speed. Number 6. Larry Page – $102 billion Continuing on our list of tech billionaires who have an aversion to fast cars, Larry Page dipped into his $102 billion fortune to buy himself a Toyota Prius to drive around in. If you had $102 billion in the bank, would you choose to drive a Prius? I know I wouldn't. 
Larry apparently shares shopping trips with his Google co-founder Sergey Brin as they both own the exact same plane, a Gulfstream 650ER. They also co-own a Boeing 767 which has two private staterooms, each with their own ensuite. The plane set the two of them back $200 million before they even began to fit it out to their luxurious taste. His yacht is as understated as his choice of car. Well, it's understated as billionaires' yachts get anyway. The yacht senses is 59 meters long and has space to accommodate 12 guests. Of course, he somehow still found space to fit a helipad on the back. Number 5. Guatam Adani $104.9 billion The fifth person on our list is the richest man in Asia, Guatam Adani. Guatam doesn't show the same level of reserve as the American tech billionaires we've covered so far. He really knows how to spend his wealth. When Gratam flies, he has three private jets to choose from, each more luxurious than the last. There is the Canadian Challenger 605, the Embraer Legacy 650, and a Hawker Beechcraft 850 XP, which is a favorite of Indian billionaires. Together, these planes cost $51 million, and that is before he's customized them to his liking. Number 4. Bill Gates – $124.8 billion while Gates might be a well-known collector of rare and exotic Porsches, you are more likely to see him driving his Tesla Model X to work. The most impressive piece in his garage has to be the Porsche 959, of which only 337 were ever produced. They might have cost as little as $300,000 when they were first made in 1986, but now they can be worth up to $1.5 million depending on the condition. When it comes to boats, Bill Gates has this entire list beaten. He is rumored to have a half a billion dollar hydrogen powered boat being built purposely for him, but details are vague at the moment and stories about it are conflicting. He did recently spend his 66th birthday renting the $2 million a week superyacht Lana. She features sleek contemporary architecture and measures 107 meters. Maybe he was looking for inspiration for his own boat while abroad. Number 3. Jeff Bezos – $142 billion Speaking of people with super yachts worth around a half a billion dollars, we have Jeff Bezos. His $500 million super yacht is stuck after the Dutch firm building it decided against dismantling a historic Rotterdam bridge following a public backlash and threats of an egg-throwing protest. The billionaire Amazon founder had offered to pay for the middle section of the decommissioned Koningshavenbrug to be removed so that his monster 412-foot sailing yacht, which is named Y721, could reach the ocean from its shipyard. If it ever manages to make it to the seas, it will apparently totally change the world of yachting with its design and innovation. Maybe he could use his private jet to lift it in some way. Can you guess what jet he owns? Yep, you got it. It's a Gulfstream G650ER. Or maybe he could put it on a trailer and pull it to the sea with his many hypercars. I'm sure some combination of the $4 million Lycan Hypersport the $3 million Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, the $5 million Lamborghini Veneno Roadster, and the $3.5 million Bugatti Veyron Mansory will be able to pull it. Number 2. Bernard Arnault – $149.1 billion Owning the largest luxury goods company in the world, LVMH, means you have to have the lifestyle to go with it. Everyone knows that living a luxurious life means owning a luxurious yacht. But Bernard takes that to the next level. He owns a whole luxury shipbuilding company, Royal Van Lent. The company cost him $300 million to buy and then he commissioned them to make him a $150 million superyacht Symphony. At 101 meters long, she was built with the environment in mind and manages to use 30% less energy than other yachts her size. No matter how much he may want to, he can't sail around the world all the time. Sometimes he has to go to fashion shows and champagne parties, and when he does, he flies. He currently owns a Bombardier Global Express private jet, worth an estimated $48.7 million. The Global Express model, a long-haul private jet, is one of the most efficient aircraft in private aviation. The man obviously cares for the environment with this plane and his boat. Before we show you how the world's favorite billionaire gets around, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and click the bell. That way, you'll be the first to see our next luxury video. Number 1. Elon Musk – $233.7 billion With a net worth of over $200 billion, you would expect Elon Musk to have one of the most incredible and state-of-the-art planes, boats, and cars, but you would be wrong. 
He doesn't even own a boat. And when the Tesla CEO has to fly anywhere, he takes the exact same jet that all his tech billionaire friends do. The Gulfstream G650ER If you are ever interested in where Musk is in the world, there's actually a Twitter bot that tweets every time the plane takes off or lands. Musk apparently offered the creator $5,000 to delete the account, but he refused. Maybe this is why Musk wants to buy Twitter. When it comes to cars, Musk has one of the most impressive collections in the world and some of the most interesting cars ever produced. Musk is a self-avowed James Bond fan and he grew up watching the movies. In The Spy Who Loved Me, there was a 1976 Lotus Esprit that 007 drove called Wet Nelly, which transformed into a small submarine. Since it was long before the days of CGI, the filmmakers had to actually build an Esprit without wheels and other modifications for the underwater shots. Musk fell in love with the movie car and in 2013, when it went to auction, he won with a bid of almost $1 million. Even if it floods, this workaholic is able to drive to work. Click the video on the screen to see another luxury video.